Today is gonna be a very boring ride. Why do we do this? And if these rides are so boring, why are you even watching? I'll tell you why you're watching, because it's on TV. No, but on a serious note, it is a beautiful day right now. How could you go wrong? It's 65 degrees, uh, seven mile per hour wind from the west, of course, so it's nice and cool. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, you know? But this would be kind of a typical Tuesday nonchalant ride where I'm kind of not really training for anything right now. There's, I don't know if cyclocross is gonna even exist this year. So I'm just riding and maintaining my fitness and we'll probably do about two hours, 33 miles and join me on this adventure. I actually personally kind of like these boring rides because a lot of times I could think about things in my head, think about my practice, think about what I'm doing at work. Uh, basically, you know, I solve all the world's problems. Unfortunately though, sometimes I'll get a song stuck in my head. Since the passing of Eddie Van Halen, I have been renewing my love for all their music and I've been listening to it and trying to play it on guitar. And so I've got all these songs in my head. So sometimes you'll go on a ride and one particular song will start to drive you nuts. Does that ever happen to you? If it does, let me know in the comment section what tends to bother you about these types of rides. This is our resident bike path that takes us down to the edge of Camarillo so that I don't have to be on the street. It's very, very nice, I like it. And also, it's about four miles, so it's a good warm up. So this path takes us through this nice little neighborhood and once we get onto the main road, you'll see why I'm calling it the boring bike ride. How's that for a bike lane? One thing you cannot do on YouTube, although someday they should invent this, to include the smells of your environment. We just went through cilantro and now this is perfect grass. Ew. All right, skunk. This is a great road if you don't have any friends or don't like people. There's really nothing around. Those are the Santa Monica Mountains. And that is why we live here. So you just gotta ride to that location to get all the great SoCal Hills. Are you still even watching this? Why do we do this to ourselves? How many kids actually get to play on that thing? Probably not many. So this is the part that's not so boring. Check it out. All these jets. The thing about the Oxnard flat planes is that you can kind of get lost but you don't get lost because everything goes north, south, west, or east. So you just head in one direction, you know you're gonna come back. And about 14 miles over there is Camarillo. So right behind me are strawberries and you could smell them. And when you could smell strawberries, you know they're gonna be like sugar. And even on a boring ride, we still have palm trees.
guys still with me? I'm still riding, I'm still pedaling. Let's see if we can make it to the end of the video. So there we are, we're back on the bike path. So what did you think of the video? I thought, God, this has gotta be boring, but it's what I do just to keep it going. And I thought of something today, and you tell me if this is a good idea, but to customize your bike. A lot of people have taken their bike and taken it apart and painted it. And I was actually thinking today, wouldn't that be cool? I wonder if anyone's done it, is to take apart their bike, repaint it as Eddie Van Halen's guitar. You know, all red, like a Ferrari red with white stripes all around it. That's what I thought of today. So stay tuned to my channel and see if I actually end up doing that on the world's most boring ride. <laughs>